scenario of the advanced pain choy black choy, let's say our defender now, of course, our defender is still continuing to shoot, but in this particular scenario, he actually gets in a little bit closer, right? He shoots, he closes the distance much quicker than he did with the first scenario. So, we lead into it as before. We go for our pain choy. We trap. He begins to shoot. Now, before we can realize it, he's halfway home. He's halfway where he wants to be. So instead of our stiff arm, we actually use our forearm here and we jam up on the neck. Right? We're catching him right above the shoulder, side of the head, somewhere, but it's the blade of our forearm that's actually keeping him at bay. So when we're, when we're in this particular position, he's coming forward motion and we're stopping him here. So get in that position again. This is the first part. This is how we enter. We go low, we come high, and we drop right back down with him. You have to make sure that you lower your base with him, right? Now, let's look at it from another angle because here is the follow-up. Here's the follow-up. We go low, he shoots, boom, we catch him here. Now, here's the follow-up. It's our right elbow. We're actually going to snip it across the face. That's what we're doing. Your forearm is right there, right? Your forearm is right there, and you just run it right across the side of his face. Take what you can get, whether it's the jaw, the cheek, the ear, even the eye, whatever it is, take what you can get in the street fight. So, nice and slow, it looks like this. We go in, he changes, boom, and we step across. Here it is again. Go low, go high, boom. You have to jam him up first, boom. And then, use that forward momentum, that forward pressure um, that he's applying, use that against him, and run your elbow across the face. Here it is from a different angle, a little bit faster. It's a little bit... <laughs> Remember, when you're doing this, you have to be careful of your training partner, right? Don't put, you know, don't, don't hurt each other when you're doing this, right? So, you have to pace yourself and actually be careful and be very, very methodical when you're doing this, right? So, a little bit faster, we go low, we trap, and we snip across. So, here it is again. We go low, go high, we jam him up, and we snip across. Here's from another angle, we will follow through this time. So you can see the motion, that forward pressure, is going to accompany that counter pressure that I'm applying with my elbow. Right? So that forward pressure is consistent. When he's coming in, you jam him up, you shock him with the blade of your arm, and then you run the elbow across the face. And that's the second scenario for the advanced pinch of watch ball.